What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a video where we talk about the packs. So finally, it's been long rumored, people have been waiting for club packs. Whatever you feel about this, whether you feel that it's, you know, you've no interest in buying packs and spending coins and doing anything like that, or you want to stay free to play, or you're delighted that these packs are finally here, where you can get a guaranteed uh, player box that is going to have 11 players and a new manager, right? So we're going to get into this. There's a couple of notes here as well. And there's a couple of things I want to talk about because I know a lot of people are going to ask me um, on this in live stream later. And I'm just going to literally have, you know, an exclamation mark, a command that will literally link to this video rather than me repeating myself a hundred times. Um, as of right now, from the trailer, we know that we're going to be getting more managers and squads. So Byron will be coming, Inter will be coming, and AC will be coming. Depends whether they'll bring more licensed teams to this as well. I would say that they'll bring more, and I'd say that they'll also probably bring the likes of PSG or Man City or somebody like that as well. They've done it before. But for these with the managers, the reason that they probably held these back from launch is to include the manager boosters. Before they dropped the booster as a feature, they probably tested it out on the players. Now, I've seen a lot of people complain about this already without really probably understanding what these boosters do. I'm going to withhold judgment until I actually buy a pack later, live on stream, and we're going to crack on with it and probably play a couple of matches with the squad and see how the players actually react. But just a quick run through of this. So there's three packs available right now. These are available for 1500 coins and you can get Barcelona, Manchester United or Arsenal. OK, when you buy these players, this is what you're going to be getting when you buy this pack. Right. So if you want to purchase this, it's going to cost you 1500 coins. We only have 800 at the moment, so we don't have enough. But this is what it gets you. So it features it features Xavi as a legendary manager that's going to have a ball control booster. And it also includes 11 highlight players from Barcelona. So you can see the players that it includes there. There's a list of the players here when you click into it. It's going to be Lewandowski, De Jong, Gundogan, Koundé, Ter Stegen, Pedri, Gavi, Cancelo, Felix, Christensen, and Sergi Roberto. So you're going to get all of those players, right? 11 players with a one-year contract. You're going to get Xavi as a manager. And then you're also going to get a few little things here as well. Um... Oh, no, you, sorry, you don't get the trainers there. I don't think it says here. Um, but all you're going to have then is this, this player is going to have a booster. This manager is going to have a booster. So when you are using Xavi as a manager, you are going to be getting that stat increase to all of those players, right? So Xavi and Ten Hag and Arteta all have different boosters. So I'm going to give a quick run down through these. So Xavi actually gives a plus one increase to the ball control player stat. So for example, if you've got Gavi an 89 ball control as an individual stat, that is basically going to go to 90. It's very simple. Um, I know from the trailer, they showed a really kind of, let me see here. They did show that this was like maxed out into passing, but this is actually not what J uh, Xavi's card does, right? This is not it. And even though he's playing possession game, you're not getting that boost to passing. You're getting the boost to actual uh, ball control as it shows here, right? So the ball control is going to give a plus one. That's it. So we've already seen that with the legendary players where you've got your manager boost and then you have your booster, such as Roberto Carlos, such as any of the new epics that they have released, right? Also on top of that, you're going to have um, his team play style locked at one, which is going to be 85 possession game. Now, bear in mind, if you want to stay free to play, Guardiola has a higher possession game playstyle proficiency. So while I do think that these are good ideas, I think the real bonus to, the, to these will come that you'll be able to upgrade your manager. So eventually you might be able to add a plus two, plus three, plus four, maybe even a plus five increase to the player stat. So instead of Xavi having just plus one to his ball control, you will potentially be able to give a plus five if you're able to train it up. But that is, again, me just kind of putting ideas out there for the way that they've actually really kind of like zoned in on these managers, right? We also have our Arteta and Ten Hag, right? And again, these are 1,500 coins. You're going to get Ten Hag. You're going to get Casemiro, Bruno, Martinez, Mount, Rashford, Varane, Onana, Eriksen, Hoyland, Wan-Bissaka, and Lendelof, right? And then, of course, also on top of that, you get the details of Ten Hag. So it features him with the speed booster. So this is going to give a plus one increase to the speed player stat of all players. So again, if you've got Casemiro and he's got, you know, 69 speed or 79 speed or whatever you train him up to, you can give a plus one to that. Now, this mightn't be a huge thing. You might be thinking it's only plus one. But when you kind of bring in other factors into it as well, and the fact that you're going to be getting a plus one just from the manager straight away, which is going to be a bonus, a bonus booster one. It's not including the manager bonus you get with the team playstyle proficiency. 
I think where this will really matter is you will be able to build players now. Potentially, you can put a player at maybe 70. Usually, if you train a player to like 85 acceleration, you're saying, right, my attacking midfielder definitely needs to be 85, so I need to pop in two extra training progression points or four extra training progression points, depending on what level he goes to, um, into speed. You will potentially be able to put that into something like shooting or passing now. So I think that depending on your, your level of play and what division you're going to be in, this will definitely give an advantage to people that are able to get straight into a play style with these managers and just be able to depend on those booster stats. So it listen, it does need to be balanced. We will see how it goes in live stream. Uh, I'm just telling you what it is here. And of course, Ten Hag also gets match experience bonus points to 23 years old and below uh, 100% uh, bonus on top of that. So if you get a thousand points when you're using Ten Hag, you get a player like Highland, you'll get an extra thousand points. I know you don't get that much uh, train and XP, but you catch my drift. And then last but not least, we do have Arteta. I think everyone will buy Ten Hag with the speed, to be honest with you. Um, but we do have uh, Arteta, Mikel Arteta, right? So Saka, Odegaard, Royce, Jesus, Martinelli, Saliba, Ramsdale, Havertz, White, Gabriel, and Tommy Yashu, right? So these is this is probably the best pack, I would say, if you're starting off. I would say that this is probably the newcomer pack. I'll have a little graphic up here um, where I'll say which is the best pack, but I reckon, if I get time, but I reckon that this Arsenal pack is probably the best for starters. Um, now, with Arteta here, you're going to get a low pass booster that also includes the 11 players. So it's going to be a plus one increase to the low pass. This is what I'm, I'm talking about, is with the manager boost and with the booster boost, right? Um, you're going to have the possession game, which I think is very, very usable at the moment this is probably the best manager to get if you've got a young squad um i know the 23 years old or below uh isn't the best one because you you miss out on all you know your big time players but if you are looking to train up a lot of players very quickly and boost uh get the boost with that this is probably the best pack i would say for the players that you're actually getting right now i know that barcelona is a very strong one as well but i think here you've got saka you've got rice you've got Martinelli, Ramsdale, Gabriel and Tommy Yashu, very, very strong players in this that you can actually get in. Like with Manchester United, right? I would say, yeah, they have some good players like Casemiro. Um, you've also got Bruno. But then apart from that, I don't think that there's anyone. Obviously, Wan-Bissaka and Hoyland are, are good. Um, but I would say that if you've got a good squad, Barcelona would be a really nice squad to, to kind of fill out the squad positions. Uh, Koundé is obviously going to be really strong. Pedri, Gavi, Jao Cancelo, Felix. And, of course, Christensen is a beast, as well as De Jong, who looks to be a very unique card. So, let me know what you guys think. As I said, there are 1,500 coins to buy. Is this a thumbs up or a thumbs down? I know people are waiting for the club packs. There will be more club packs to come. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments, and let me know amongst yourselves as well. Like, what is the crack with these? Do you like them? Are you going to buy them? Are you going to spin? Are you going to... Like, what are you going to do? Let me know your thoughts. We will be giving feedback on them to how they actually affect the ecosystem of dream team is everybody just going to buy a legendary manager and have the plus one or be at a disadvantage or are these just like pretty much non changing the meta type thing so let me know your thoughts lads and we will discuss it on the live stream later don't forget to subscribe we'll talk to you later peace